Here is the montage telling the entire story of the NDC debacle with the choices of leaders in parliament. Tension is mounting at the Northern Regional Office of the NDC over the removal of Hiruna Idrisu's minority leader. Supporters of the party on Wednesday must at the office to demand the national executive rescind uh, their decision. We are here as a members of coalition of youth groups belonging to, to the NDC to register our displeasure over the disrespectful and a wittical, and a wicked political decision by some national executive to illegally change the leadership of our party in parliament at this crucial moment. When I heard it first, I said, what is wrong? Very weird decision. If I'm sitting in the NDC leadership, and this is the time when all this issue about COVID expenditure you know, is playing out, where Auditor General support is playing out. Look at the, the issues, National Cathedral issues playing out and so on. What you do is you go and throw in this letter. I mean, incredible. This letter is, 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 is strange, I mean, to say the least. So, so very strange. So if you are a party serious in fighting and winning elections, you must put your best foot forward so that you can win the debate. You can't just go and be telling people that uh, the economy is in shambles, the economy is in shambles when, uh, when you are not able to put your experts there to be able to communicate to Ghanaians how you do things better. It gets worse. Okay. I and mean, when this event had been released and the backlash started unfolding, Mm. Now, we started hearing reasons why this was done. Okay. Oh no, boy, oh boy. The 2024 election is going to be fought around the economy. So the debate basically is going to be about the economy. You know it and I know it. Oh no, boy, oh boy. The truth of the matter is that the 2024 election is going to be fought around the economy. Okay, if that is the case, huh, then perhaps we need the most qualified economist to lead the pack. If it's about your academic qualification and so on, is, is Atufosin the most qualified economist in parliament? The 2024 election is going to be fought around the economy. And I'm not exaggerating, I spoke to about 10 members of parliament from the minority side. None of them knew that this was going to happen, it took them by surprise. The principle of consultation which has been established okay, by the party in the selection of parliamentary leadership cannot be abandoned you know, in this manner. And the fact that a letter written to Mr. Speaker by the General Secretary without the endorsement of FEC, without the endorsement of NEC, is, is I mean, uh, I mean, uh, uh, dressed as a decision of the party. Now, remember that I refer to others. I mean, uh, uh, seven. It says, designated by the party. That letter is not a letter of the party. I believe that their consultations may have been done at their level, but I believe that it was not far-reaching enough. I believe that a little more consultation, in this case, engagements, could have happened. They consulted based on what they have said publicly with members of the council of elders and stakeholders in the party after those consultations they proceeded to write a letter to the speaker and that is where i think the, the crux of the matter is and of course they understand that as, an, as a wing of the party they need to work very closely with the uh, leadership of the party to ensure that we can deliver the aspirations of our people and especially being able to do what Ghana requires of us, which is to work towards uh, taking out of power the most abysmal, the most incompetent, the most corrupt government in the history of our country. The tension is mounting at the Northern Regional Office of the NDC over the removal of Haruna Idrisu's minority leader. Supporters of the party on Wednesday must up at the office to demand the national executive rescind uh, their decision now. We are here as a members of coalition of youth groups 
belonging to, to the NDC to register our displeasure over the disrespectful and a, whitical, and a wicked political decision by some national executives to illegally change the leadership of our party in parliament at this crucial moment.